Okay, this message is for the collective for the eclipse season for this October 25th eclipse. Uh, let's look at the energies that we have. I actually lost the footage of my beginning uh, reading, so this is something I had to recreate. So I do apologize, and please bear with me. This is <laughs> this is just one of the effects of the eclipse season that's coming forward. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of endings. There's going to be a lot of renewals. Um, and we're going to feel the effects of this eclipse for the next six months or so. Uh, the effects can be delayed up until May of 2023. So yeah, this reading is good until May of 2023. So please, in the comments below, let me know how these changes have affected your life. Now let's get into this. Okay. Your current, your current energy is the star and you also have the Knight of Wands. So with the star, I feel like that you're ready for those new beginnings. You're ready for those brilliant changes that are going to be happening in your life. And I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of renewal. This is going to bring you a lot of changes that are going to come. And um, they're going to be coming in. For some of you, they will come in more quickly than others, um, but typically the effects of the eclipse can last six months. So like I said, this reading is timeless. So when you view this reading is when it was meant for you to receive it. And now with, with this, I also see that you have the six of the six of pentacles, the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So I do believe that, you know, this is a time of releasing things from your life. This is a time to let go of things that are no longer, no longer serving you. Now, for a very few of you, I feel like you're actually trying to hold on to these things. You want to hold on to these things instead of just letting go what you no longer have um, any use for. And I, th I think that, you know, this is just my advice. Take it with a grain of salt. But um, I feel like you should go ahead and purge those things out of your life and make room for the new that's about to happen because with these brilliant endings are also beautiful beautiful beginnings so yeah and i think you should you should be purging these things and maybe uh you'll want to maybe give them away maybe donate them maybe have a yard sale um maybe pass them down to to loved ones or so forth but yeah this is not a time to hold on to things. This is a time to release things out of your life. This can be, this can be possessions. This can be situations. This can even be people. Um, so we should be releasing these things out of our life that no longer serve us. And now we have the two of cups and the three of swords. So, um, during this time, there can be a lot of disappointments in love. There can be, um, it, it can bring a lot of frustration, a lot of intense emotions. Um, and you should be careful that you're not obsessing over this information. You're not obsessing over uh, things that happen. And during this time, I believe that truths are going to be told. Truths are going to be found out um, 
but I do see that you're working with the team. I feel like you are you're working with the support of others creating something new. I feel like this magician, this is also a very good time of manifestation, but this is also a very tricky time for manifestation. You want to be very clear. Um, I'll, I'll repeat that. You want to be very clear on things that you are manifesting at this time um, because you don't want something to come about that you are had no intentions on manifesting. So be very clear in the things that you manifest. Manifest exactly what you want. That, that's very important. And now you also have the, uh, the Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. So this is a very good time to move forward in a new direction. This is a good time to make decisions, to make your plans. Um, some of you may be at a crossroads on decisions that you want to make. You may be traveling to some place. You may be um, working on new ideas. Um, now, I'm not seeing this as a new love coming in, but typically for a very few of you, this may be new love. But I'm seeing that you're actually moving towards new passions. This is taking you into a new direction. That with eclipses, there is definitely endings, but there is definitely new beginnings. Life always has many cycles. Once you end one cycle, you always begin another. And I believe that this is your destiny being unfolded here. You have two paths to go down. Which path are you going to choose? You're at a crossroads at a moment and you need to make the decision. You need to make careful planning on what it is you truly desire, what it is you truly want out of life. So I, I feel that very strongly for you. I feel like um, with this eclipse, um, you're going to have, you may have some trusting issues. You may have, um, people who try to stab you in the back. You may have a lot of secrets that are unfolding at the moment. And I feel like for a very few of you, there's going to be people gossiping about you. There's going to be people talking about you. So... Um, I, I think you should choose your battles wisely. Choose your battles wisely. Um, don't try to start a fight over the little things. If your spouse or if your counterpart, if your partner spills milk on the floor, you know, just choose your battles wisely. Um, but I feel like this is going to bring about a lot of trust issues. This is going to bring about this is going to tell the truth about your relationship. This is going to bring out all of the obsessions, all of the trust issues. This is going to probably be something hard to go through. But once you get over this mountain, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful because you have the star. You have the ace of cups. You have the two of cups. You have healing, hope, renewal. You have uh, wishing upon a star. You have bright new beginnings. You have love around you. So yeah, and I think this is a very bright new beginning for you. So I think you should trust in that. Trust in what is being offered to you. Trust that the universe always has your back and always wants you to move forward and be a free spirit and be confident and self-assured. And I believe that 
you are very capable of dealing with the situation, although you may go through storms, you may go through trials and tribulations, um, you're going to endure. I feel like um, you should also focus on your health. You should also change things. Um, change how you're Change how you, um, I want to say how you eat. Change the things that you put into your mouth. I feel like with some of you, it could be that, that you're, you're eating too much junk. I feel like you're eating too much junk. You should be eating more, more healthy foods that come from the earth. And now you also have a lot of pinnacles in this reading as well. So I feel like if you ground yourself, um, maybe meditating and, and kind of um, diving into your awareness, you'll be able to ground yourself and feel um, much better about your health, about your appearance, about uh, about just life in general. So I'm, I'm feeling that great, greatly for you. Now this eclipse, this eclipse is a mysterious wild card. Um, that's what I'm going to call it, a mysterious wild card. And like I said, you have the ability to manifest. You have the ability to manifest things at this time. So I need to stress to you that you need to set your intentions. This is a great time to set your intentions on new manifestations. But you need to be totally clear on the things that you want to manifest. Um, because at this time, especially with the magician in this reading as well, you have the ability to manifest things into your life and you do not want to manifest the wrong things into your life. So make sure that you are very clear on the things that you are wanting to bring into your life. As I was saying, this is not a very good time for investments at the moment, um, but I feel like if you make strong, wise decisions and take action at the precise moments, um, I think that the universe will go, kind of lead you the way. And I'm not a financial advisor, so take this information with a grain of salt. You know, I, this is tarot, so. And now you have the Page of Swords at the bottom. So with this eclipse, um, there can also be secrets that will be revealed. The truth is going to come out. Um, and actually, the truth comes out eventually anyway. But this is really particularly a time when the, the truth is going to come out. Um, there's a lot of trust issues at the moment. There is relationship issues at the moment. And I think that with this eclipse, it's going to bring big endings, but it's also going to bring brilliant beginnings. So yes, eclipses, they can be a beautiful time. Um, and in, in life, we always have endings and we always have new beginnings. We always are starting on a new cycle. So yeah, that, that's nothing new. This is just a little bit more intense than the normal because it's an eclipse. So emotions are running high. So make sure to choose your battles wisely. Choose your battles wisely. Um, don't get mad at your spouse or your counterpart or your, your other half for leaving the bread open. That's, that's a small thing. Um, 
dive deeper into your relationship at this time. If you're not in a relationship at this time, um, focus on the things around you that you can focus on. Um, I'm not seeing new love at the moment, although you do have the Ace of Cups. Um, so there may be new love coming in, but and I think that that's for a very small percentage of you. Let's see an outcome, please. What will be going on for the collective during this eclipse season? Okay, the high priestess. Yeah, with this eclipse, it's also going to increase your awareness. Um, I believe that you'll be going through new awakenings. Um, your intuition is going to be running wild at that time. Um, and that would be the time to focus on what the, what the universe is trying to tell you. Never ignore your intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you something you need to know. So when your intuition kicks in, listen is very important okay you also have the three of cups so this is the end of october so i feel like there's going to be celebrations there's going to be get-togethers there's going to be people in your life coming around this could also be you being supported during this time um I'm feeling like your cups are will be overflowing with support and love from the people around you. So that would be a, a wonderful thing. And you do have the devil. So you want to be careful for anyone who's obsessing and being too controlling. And sometimes this eclipse can bring about those um, feelings of intense relationships. Um, someone can feel more controlling, more obsessive. They could be more jealous at that time, have trust issues. Um, so, yeah, I, I think you should be aware of these situations. Now, this could be their energy, but this could also be your energy. So take notice of how you're reacting to situations. If this is you, change direction. Use your intuition and follow a new path. Don't focus on that path of obsessiveness. Okay. That's a lot of cards, Spirit. Okay, let's see. Okay, and yes, the Ace of Swords. You also have the Page of Swords on the bottom. So definitely, definitely, truth is going to come out. Secrets are going to be revealed. And this is going to bring also be a time of big new ideas. Um, so this is going to bring you a lot of clarity into to the situation. As I said, I believe that this is going to be a time of a new awakening for you. Um so this is going to be a very strong time. And the effects of this, like I said, you can actually feel the effects of this until May 2023. So um, for a few of the, for a few of you, sorry, for a few of you, some of these feelings, some of these intense realities may be delayed you may not feel them right away they're they're obviously not going to come exactly on the 25th but each person is going to feel the effects in their own time all the way until may of 2023 okay now you have the three of cups again so you definitely have celebrations. You definitely have uh, companionship. You definitely have support coming in. So 
So I truly like this for you. Um, and this this may be also new bonds, new friendships, new companionship. That is an awful lot of cards. So we're not going to do it. The cards are just flying out. And they're not flying out one at a time. They're flying out like six and seven at a time. So, yeah, these messengers are coming pretty strong today. Okay. You also have the Queen of Wands. So, I'm feeling that... I'm feeling that this is going to be a great time maybe to start a journal or start writing. Um, if you're thinking about manifesting something, maybe start a manifestation journal, start a gratitude journal. Um, but yeah, I believe it's, it's, it's a great time to create, to create something. So yeah, writing and journaling is a good option. Okay, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said at this time, this is not a good time to sign contracts. This is not a good time to go into new partnerships. But this is a good time to make plans and start to grow something if you're going to grow something financially. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles as well. So, yeah, it, it, it's time to plant the seeds and start to make things grow in your life i'm feeling like you're going to be moving into something more reliable uh, you're going to be putting in the work on this this isn't something that's going to be a fly by day scheme this is not you, you really don't want to do any, anything that's like a fly-by-night thing, especially during the eclipse season. It'll never prosper. Let's see, three more cards? Wow. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and take these three because there's just three. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. So, I, as I said, I feel like you're going to be going through a new awakening. I feel like your thought processes are going to be booming at this time. And you may receive messages from someone, um, someone who's going to give you advice, someone who's going to give you news about maybe a new job that will be coming through, um, new ways of doing things with your business, um, so forth. And I feel like it, it is a very good time to build something. It's not a good time to... Um, have conflicts or competitions but I feel like it's a very good time for you to build to build to make your plans to make your decisions um, that way you're planting your seeds you'll be growing or building uh, what it is that you want to do in your life. Okay, yes, I think this is a great time for you to gain wisdom and gain a different perspective. Um, and maybe this person is going to send you a message or maybe you're going to have that aha moment 
during this time that's going to give you a different perspective on what it is you want to accomplish. I believe that that's very possible at this time for you. And I believe that for the collective. Okay, and you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I, I believe that during this time you are looking for someone who is bold, powerful, charming. Um, you're looking, you will have courage at this time. I believe that this, with you making these steps for planting your seeds and building, you are going to get a lot of long-term stability. This is going to be successful long term. Okay, one more card. The Queen of Pentacles, counterparts. Okay, maybe you do have love coming in. And yes, this is the time. Death and rebirth. So this is going to be magnificent endings and brilliant brilliant beginnings um you do have that and you you have the page of wands as well so you're going to receive messages you're going to receive messages about this and this may be someone that you meet during one of these celebrations that you're going through you have the three of one the excuse me the three of cups twice in this reading so maybe during one of these celebrations, um, you're going to meet someone. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So I believe that this is going to be a very stable, a very nurturing, a very prosperous relationship. Um, this could also be an earth sign coming through. So, yes. Okay. Now let's get a little bit of, let's get some words from the universe. Let's see what they have to say about this situation. In the comment section below, um, please comment if this reading is resonating with you. Um, and come back to it maybe in uh, May. And let me know what brilliant beginnings have happened in your life. I'll be very anxious to find out what beginnings will be happening. Because for the collective, you definitely, definitely will be having new beginnings. New beginnings in some part of your life. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Yes, I think that that goes into saying that it's time to release and surrender. It's time to release and surrender. That's the hangman here. Release and surrender. Because the universe is working in your favor already. Sometimes we just need to release uh, after our awakening and just surrender to the situation. Uh, the universe got our back. And you have to just trust and believe that, that the universe has you. One more card, please. One more card, please. When I am in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Yes. OK. 
I love that for you. And on the bottom of the deck, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Yes, yeah, so you definitely have someone coming in at the moment if you are single. Um, if you are already with someone, I feel like your relationship is going to just be heightened. Your relationship is going to go to the next level. And let's see. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of these cards. A higher view the number 41 may be significant to you at this time and I believe that spirit is letting you know that um, you'll be gaining a higher view of the situation you just need to gain a different perspective and maybe that's exactly what it's saying and you also have the time machine on the bottom of the deck the time machine so yeah this is actually uh, this the will of fortune this could be a very prosperous time for you um like i said set your intentions clearly and because it's a a, a mysterious time for manifesting um but you have to be careful exactly what you're in you set your intentions on because it is likely that you can manifest the opposite of what you want if you're not clear on setting your intentions. So make sure to set your intentions on exactly what you want at this time. Okay, let's get one of these angel cards. And even myself, even myself, I'm going to be decluttering and purging um, things that no longer serve me. Because that's just typically what you do during eclipse season. You get rid of those things that aren't aligned with your energy. Okay, now see. Just what I keep saying, the cards just keep flying and flying. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, you have Isabella. Okay, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna get through the eclipse even more prosperous and more brilliant than you already are. Um, so yeah, I think you should just surrender and let the universe do its work. Don't let the little things bother you. Keep your feelings under control and your outcomes will be Blissful. That's the word I want to say. I never say that, but that's the word I want to say. Blissful. Okay, and you also have mystique. Keep charging ahead. Don't take no for an answer. Expect miracle, miraculous. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. That's a beautiful card. Okay. Okay, Collective, that ends your reading at the moment. Thank you so much for joining me. And if this message resonates with you,
please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any uploads. And like I said in the comment section below, please let me know um, how this eclipse season has changed you. Okay, and I will see you on the next one. Love and light to you. Many blessings.